So it's about uh, quarter to eight in the morning, October 10th, I think. Thursday, anyway. Um, just before Canadian Thanksgiving. A little window of warmer weather. But I'll take advantage of that uh, to go on a little trip. And uh, I'm gonna head up Pickle Jar Creek to Pickle Jar Lakes. And have a gander at <laughs> the pass to Waterfall Valley. So head south. In fact, I see an entrance. It may, it may just be right there. Might be convenient. Well, I knew about that, but uh, and frankly, I am. Does make me nervous, just I mean, even though it doesn't really obviously, it's you know, there's always bears around. I suspect I know. Sobering. Hmm. So the the apparently uh, I was a mother grizzly. Um, not only had cubs, but also, I believe, was protecting a, well, had a kill. So, a double whammy. Um, you know, it's, it's always a danger. Um, it's very rare, but obviously, it's a danger. And you can see, all this thing is definitely closed. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure where the trail goes from here. So, I guess I'll... See if I can find the old parking lot. Go from there and uh, sunrise. Very nice. All right, so this is the next day. There's the boulders blocking off where the road ends to the recreation area. Uh, just up from there, as you can see where I'm standing. So instead of doing what I'm doing, going just following the road in, um, Somebody had knocked the cairn down, so I've rebuilt it. And there's a trail that I discovered on the way out. Um, and I actually passed by the old toilets on the way out as well. <laughs> you know, flash up a picture. So you should pass those. So this trail is just a lot easier, um, which is not surprising that there's a trail. Anyway, that should help you out. You can hear the creek on my right. You can see why this is closed. <laughs> This is from the floods, 2013. Uh, I think up here somewhere will be a trail. I just really have no idea where, of course. <laughs> well, I make it easy on yourself. Of course, the the way into Pickle Jar Lakes now is to the Lantern Creek Day Use area. This looks like the trail here. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is it. I was getting worried. It'd be hard to find, but this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. So, Eight o'clock. Yeah, this is it. Must be it. On the trail. There would be my yo bears. So, just 30 seconds later already, it's, um, you tell it's going to be interesting.
I can uh, I can kind of tell where other people are walking, but see how long this goes on for. Obviously, the original trail is washed out at least in this part. Now, let's keep going up the left bank here. Don't know if this is the main creek or not, but skirt around here and see if I can pick up a trail somewhere. So I'm just skirting the left bank still. Um, people or horses or whatever, I, th I think horses come up here. I can see evidence of people coming this way. And now I'm kind of coming to the end of that. <laughs> ah. People have crossed, but it looks like. But it looks like people have come this way too. I still don't know where the trail is, of course, as usual. <laughs> um, is this... I'm gonna skirt a little bit more. So I waffled around there for about 10 minutes. I look at the trail guide, and apparently there's flagging and all sorts, and I don't see any. Um, but, as I was saying a minute ago, uh, yeah, I think you cross here. I saw a boot print. It does say in the trail guide you cross the creek on some rocks, so that's what I did. Um, kind of looks like there's a bit of a trail here for what it's worth. It looked like people came this way, so I bushwhacked basically south of the creek. Because, um, I mean, this, I think this was the original way to get to Pickle Jar Lake, so surely there's a trail still. They don't grow over that quickly. Um, I have found some, I found, I think it's a trail. Could be a game trail. Uh, it's not quite what I was hoping for. But, sounds all so familiar. It's going the right direction. I don't see anything else. Well, it's 8.30. Uh, I was feeling pretty good because I found what seems to be a decent trail. Um, I, was, I reached a sort of open area. Um, I can I can see across to the other hill, and I think I see another trail. <laughs> like, oh crap! Um, I mean, it's hard to tell from here, but boy. So I looked at the trail guide. And I think I'm supposed to be on the southeast ridge of a hill, and I'm not. I'm on the northwestish. So. So I think I got a backtrack. So it's quarter to nine. Kind of back where I started, it's crossed back over there. Um, so I'm just gonna walk along the right side of this big washout until it's supposed to be flagging, but you know, there's also supposed to be Cairn for Waterfall Valley. That didn't happen. Um, also considering just bushwhacking, intersecting the trail. But I would like to map this out properly. So I'm almost back at the parking lot, I think. <laughs> well, remains of... I came up here, I think. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. You gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Um, trails move, so that's fair enough. This one's obviously been severely damaged. Um, and I don't see any flagging, but this is the way I came. And, and I'll just, uh, I kept going up there. And I could see people had gone up there or big enough things they looked like people. <laughs> really, I'm not a tracker. Um, ended up up there. So I wasted 45 minutes an hour going that way. The map definitely shows the trail on this side of the creek. And the according to trail guide, you're supposed to walk up a dry creek bed. This is the old creek bed, presumably. Um, supposed to be flagging. It is missing, but I think I see a trail right there. Um, I'm gonna go check that out. Live and learn, right? <laughs> I was standing over there a minute. I thought I saw the trail. I went up. It's the, it's a trail. I just followed it back here. It comes out here, this washout. There is a cairn of some sort there. And there's another one there just hidden by that tree. So yeah, up here, which is what I did, but I think I, to go around the tree, I went up there. Might even gone over and I went over that way and up there, so that's why, I don't know if I would have seen it anyway, but this cairn is quite, I'm going to stack the rocks a little higher on that. I don't actually think I have flagging tape. <laughs> Alright people, so when you come up to this, I've even put an arrow rock on top. So, if this turns out to be wrong, I'll, when I come back, I'll knock that down, but... As you can see, this is a trail. A little erosion, that's where I came up. And then there you go. This is about, it doesn't get any better than this. This is the trail, hallelujah. Well, um, I, I'm hoping I'm almost done. This is a pretty steep climb. Um, for the last 10 minutes or so, which is, again, consistent. And this trail is, it's obviously the trail. I don't know what I was following before. People had been there, could have been scramblers, who the hell knows. Um, but that was definitely not an established trail. This is an established trail, even if it's not maintained. Um, it's just the trailhead, it's washed out. So, if you see behind me, it is starting to sprinkle. Definitely some weather. It's raining at Highwood Pass for sure. I assume the connector trail runs beneath that mountain there. And there's a uh, sign over there. Uh, presumably leaving, I think, this might be still the Rocky Provincial Park, but I'm not sure. So, but I suspect it says entering the Elbow Sheep Wildland. Close enough. I mean, the trail's leveled out, which is nice. Still sprinkling. And I think I got a bit of this for a while which is pleasant enough. Little wash out. Uh, well, easy enough. I just popped out of the woods here. Sun is trying to peek through. Pretty sure that's Pickle Jar Lakes up there. Last week, oh, three weeks ago, I was on the other side of those mountains. 
and I believe I'm at the connector trail. There is a good trail in a cairn. This must be to the pass. Um, oh, and I can actually see the trail on the other side. And Pickle Jar Lakes is a few clicks that way, albeit on an allegedly overgrown trail. I've never seen, I don't remember seeing an unmaintained trail actually have the qualifier overgrown on it. I don't know if it's just to dissuade people from using it, um, because there is now a, a an official trail to Pickle Jar Lakes, or if it really truly is overgrown. This is exciting. Ah, little Karen down there. Switchbacks down here. Yep. No problem. Where is the trail on the other side? Uh, well, where is one Karen? Huh. Oh. Ah. I'm thinking there. Okay, there it is. That works. Destination. See how I could see how people would be tempted to climb that. It, it looks fairly straightforward, and uh, I'm sure you have great views from the top. But <clears throat> not that into climbing things for the sake of it. That's why I backpack. Uh, going up, I prefer going out. Someone's flagged this with white electrical tape. I have no idea why. It's not like you can get lost. Uh, wouldn't show up so well in the winter, that's for sure. And here we have the willows. You can hear the stream off to my right. I could be more than half a click out. A bit wary of the willows. Can't see squat. I am making noise. Yo bear. For the record, this trail is not overgrown in the slightest. In fact, it's probably one of the best trails I've been on this summer. <laughs> so, I don't know if that was printed on the map to dissuade people and use the official route, because this is a very popular spot. I suspect that's the reason. Anyway, it's a great trail. No issue connecting from Pickle Jar Creek to the lakes. Not quite there yet, but I'm like, it's 10 minutes at the most. So when you come in Pickle Lakes from this trail, it actually takes you right into the area where uh, most people random camp. 
I don't know if there are any other spots, but from what I've read, that's the main spot. So we'll check it out right away, then go for a wander. Ah. Oh, boom, boom. Keep going. Alrighty. I need my hands. I was about to hop over the creek there. And I see this little trail coming up. I'm like, what's up there? A little cairn. I don't know. Ah, I think the sun's not going to show it, but right there is the trail. Oh, I don't know if I'm pointing at it. For that's the regular trail in the official trail in, and uh, this very much looks like so I'm going to intersect that random camping spot. So that's pretty good. Anyway, I gotta put this away just in case I wasn't sure. Some flagging. Well, signs of camping. Uh, I think I see another spot down there. I can see the lake through the trees. This is quite nice. <laughs> 